you can see here that what I've actually used as a resistor across the LED bulb is an ordinary bulb in an old holder. Well, that's what the ECU is looking for. It's looking for a bulb in place. So you use a bulb as a resistor. As you saw, even with a resistor, in this case a bulb, connected across the uh, bulb holder, the LED still flashes. So the way to get round that is to introduce a relay into the uh, into the circuit. You'll also need some connectors and a supply of wire. The earth wire that leads to my resistor, I'm going to cut it. Strip the ends of the wires. So, twist the two conductors together and then I'm applying a ferrule to the end of the wire and crimping the ferrule into place I'm going to crimp, put a crimp onto that using a pair of ratchet crimp pliers. Another piece of wire thin, so I've now got a bare wire in. You'll notice that I'm treating the end of every piece of wire with a ferrule. So, the earth side of the resistor the earth side of the relay connected together and scotch blocked into the earth side supply into the light unit. That way there's no need to split the earth supply into the light unit. So the feed from the car's harness that goes to that would normally go straight to the reversing bulb, using the same jointing methods as before, that feed now goes to a pos to one side of the coil on the relay, so it'll activate the coil. I've also jointed a parallel connection that needs to go to the common of the changeover connections. The feed that needs to go to the resistor, in my case a bulb, needs to go to the normally closed contact on the relay. Being normally closed, that means that the bulb, that, that this auxiliary bulb is now always connected to the feed from the harness. And so as far as the car is concerned, there's a normal bulb connected across into the bulb holder. The normally open side of the relay, we connect to the feed into the bulb holder. So now, when the car activates a positive signal on there to light the bulb up, it will activate the relay so that the normally open contact becomes closed which will connect our LED bulb into the circuit. The normally, normally closed contacts will have opened and so this will become disconnected. Now you can see that when I switch the ignition on the electronics is checking all the bulbs and the check is OK. No error. The ignition is now on this bulb is not lit but is acting as a resistor. The car can see that there's a bulb connected so there's no error message. There's the LED in place in the uh, in the bulb holder which I've just dropped out of the light unit so you can see it. If I now go and put the car in reverse there you go the LED reverse light comes on. take the car out of reverse the LED light goes off but you'll see that the LED light is no longer flashing not too worried about all the excess wires they'll be hidden behind the boot lid trim but I don't want the relay rattling around and I don't want it to become disconnected so I've tie wrapped it to some of the uh, some of the metal work and I'm now I'm going to do the same with the uh, with my with my resistor
Thank you for watching friends. I hope this video helped you out in some way, solving a problem or saving you some time or money. Feel free to ask questions or make comments. And if you've got any suggestions for other videos that you'd like to see. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.